Saturday, February 19th. Now this is interesting. I had gotten that message before. It started to get sunny and blue again. All of the cloud cover had broken up. It was just a bunch of fluffy cotton balls. And then that rolled that way. And now all of a sudden it's starting to come back. But I'm trying to see if you can see it. Yeah. Um, right over here it's starting and if I look that way but if you look on the horizon it's blue so it's just such an interesting I don't know if it's going to be like a s second round again I mean I'm at ground level and I don't have any way of following these things other than from the ground looking up So, I've heard some of the humans have jobs that get special tracking of these, these things, and I don't know how they do that. I don't know how to get, or I mean, like, I don't have money to pay for a satellite feed or anything like that. But, um, but from the ground looking up with no other, nothing other than that one text message as an alert, to like these ominous clouds moving and I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, um, I heard some words earlier. Um, Linda was watching one of the shows that she watches, which I just, I can't. Um, but it had Tom Cruise with someone by the name of Paris Hilton. Uh, but it said that Tom Cruise, his face was something called a deep fake. No idea what that is. That must, I mean, like, again, that seems more movie theater or, like, computer graphics. Whatever. I don't even have a sector word for them because usually it falls under the umbrella of technology, but that is seems to be a growing word with a lot of different subtexts um, that I'm completely unaware of um, at frightening capabilities. Um, and then I'm think I was thinking of the the new digital package that they put on where, like, everybody's making movies. And I'm not talking about what I'm doing because I don't expect a lot of people to watch this, but, and I'm hoping a lot of people, whatever. And so, um, but on the, like, Netflix now where you can pretty much get, like, a whole landscape of TV shows. And, I mean, it's, on one hand, it seems like a good idea if I mean like if somebody's going to pay you to sit home and do it I don't know who that could possibly be to just watch movies all day and make notes but I don't even know if that's a thing um, but I'm thinking I'm like okay so each one of these movies is some kind of broken record somebody did something somebody caught something somebody had to tell a story a certain way and so now there's like all these voices out there casting all sorts of shadows of doubt of their reality and illuminating it in some way. And I'm like, so is that like one gigantic cloud cover of broken speakers? I mean, is it broken speakers? Because the message is not from the original person who had the argument or something that they witnessed. It's kind of like overcast or overshadowed by some Hollywood characters that hide whatever they do behind being contracted employee for one movie or if they were lucky enough to have a franchise. I don't know. I mean, it's one way to have unity, symmetry, protection, and cover of communication 
on a small scale, it doesn't seem, I mean, it doesn't seem that harmful. It's just when there's so many years of these productions and then they compete or challenge and then start all new areas of like, that didn't exist before, but now, whatever. Um, I don't know. So that's my whatever on this new digital package thing they got going on on the internet. I still couldn't figure out what that deep fake thing is. I'm like, I don't know. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cataruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Oh, and then some scary words uh, when people get the your part wrong as a human. Um, there was a, someone who was mentioning, they were mentioning on that map that matches the Super Bowl map as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, here comes the wind. It's got such an interesting color in the cloud cover. Before, when the clouds came in, they actually had a sound above them, which I thought was interesting. Um, anyhow, so, um, so the map that they were using, um, they tell a different whatever on the news, um, or on the current events, I think is the proper word that I learned in school for speaking, it's current events. Um, and on the current events, they mentioned a word separatist, but it doesn't mention historical context. Excuse me. It doesn't say why they prefer to stay separate than the other places. It doesn't say anything, but what I did find interesting was... Um, they offered the residents transportation away, um, if Ukraine, they, the, the words that they're using are Ukraine and Russia, if, if they are under attack, they offer transportation out, and, which means I would think, but again, not jumping to conclusions, that they are alerting these people. Um, and then there's, I heard that other parts of Ukraine, first time I've ever heard of anything to do with Russia or Ukraine, first time ever on the New York current events or news media that they've spoken of that I've been able to witness. Um, they said something about, um, almost like, uh, it's a, a synopsis for me would be like, um, getting their skills ready that they still remember from, or they still have area, um, people to rely on or community to rely on to brush their skills up to be to, you know, to start exercising and, and, and teaching their children or their next generation something that I admire, whether they use them or not, I don't know. But in this area, um, again, my grandfather bought the house, but didn't have much history on the area, not, nothing that he was able to communicate. I heard this morning also... Um, in south of where I am, in a different state, they spoke of a man who liked his small town. He's non-familial, um, and he's four generations in that one small town, and he doesn't want to move. He opened some restaurant, 
and whatever, and they know their history, they know they've been carrying the same thing forward, whatever. Um, which I thought also his input was interesting because I wasn't born into a community or a family like that with this solidarity of like one history as a base knowledge to then go to school and to learn from the community elders and things. It seems to be on the tell of vision, a large thematic that, that, um, there are areas that are deeply rooted, not so much grassroots, but deeply rooted, um, or so they claim, um, with following the whatever, I guess, in some hybrid conversation about Lincoln's dilemma. That's what they put on the television yesterday, so it's just a tagline for the moment, because I don't want to, like, get tangled quantumly with anybody in any kind of, like, challenging system. Um, so... I thought that was interesting. I don't know why communications got knocked out um, when my grandfather arrived, or shortly before he arrived. I have no idea. Um, I don't know how he chose Bayside. He's not here for me to ask him. Um, and I was watching other parts of the current events in California area, and they were saying that th there was a couple that was being interviewed. They said that they just arrived in 2020, which I thought was interesting. So now they're newcomers. They don't know the history. I guess that's transient. I don't know. Um, but it's that idea of separatists. I'm like, now separatist how? Like... Because it gets confusing how that even could... I could even explain my own situation. Because I'm like, not purposely. I mean, I've... in Queen, I mean, I went to the school here. My kid... I bought a house here later on in life. My kid went to school in Queens. My kid's now living with my parents, trying to go to school. There's just nothing here. Um, I had a better community, like, receivership in Suffolk County, um, but it's, it's not been whatever. Anyhow, it's Star 1978, Star 378, Nicole Kateruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.